Yo guys, what's going on? Matt here, bringing you my initial review for EASHL Beta on NHL 16. Now, the reason this review is coming out a little bit later than expected is because I really wanted to take the time and give you guys a very good review just after playing the EASHL Beta. So, what I'm going to be doing in this review is showing you guys some gameplay in the bag, some things I'm talking about, but I'm going to be dividing up this review into five different categories. The first category, menu screens. Now this doesn't have anything to do with gameplay, but I just want to give you guys a quick little overview of how I think the menu screens are compared to NHL 15 and what you're going to be seeing when you first turn on NHL 16. The next category is pretty similar. I want to look at the NBCSN overlays and how they've changed, maybe how they look, if I like them, if I dislike them. Again, the last category before we get into actual gameplay. Category number three is the skater gameplay. This has everything to do with you being a forward, being a defense, how it feels, how it looks, and just the overall experience I had while playing the beta. Category number four is basically the exact opposite. It's all about goalies. I played a game as a goaltender and I just want to give you guys my review, how it feels, how the controls have changed, and things like that. The fifth and final category is a pretty important one, the AI improvements. Many people want to see how NHL 16 brings a new, smarter AI to the game, and I'll tell you guys what I think about that in the last category. After first look of the new menu screens in the all-new NHL 16 EASHL beta, I have to say I am very impressed. They stuck with the same tile-based layouts, and this year they made it much more responsive. This means going from tile to tile is much more smoother and provides uh, precision. This isn't really pertaining to gameplay in any sense, but it does make going from game mode to game mode much easier. They also let you pick your favorite team, which corresponds to their color coding and players on the faces of each title. The EASHL menus bring the same look with the same simple tile formats and make it very easy to jump from screen to screen and start up your first EASHL game. The new NBCSN scoreboard overlay is very nice. They decided to go with the NBCSN overlay that they used in last year's broadcast, and in comparison to NHL 15, this year they move it to the left. It does stay out of the gameplay. As far as the pregame warm-up intro overlay pops up, you can see that there is no lag. Both of the teams pop up nicely, and it is very simple. As you see Doc Emmerich and Eddie Olchuk up there speaking, this year they do look a little bit more illuminated. The arena in the background is default. As far as the goaltenders go, both of them still pretty much have the same type of warm-up stance, although this year you can see they are holding their gloves up. There are no overlays in the EASHL beta for the goaltenders starting, so we'll just have to assume that they are the same. As far as goal scoring and penalty taking overlays, they are the same as last year just with the new NBCSN style. Now for the gameplay. After playing a few games of Ford in the all-new EASHL beta from NHL 16, I have to say the game does feel pretty much like NHL 15. As you will start off in your Be a Pro mode or even in this EASHL mode with your class, your player will feel like you are playing in slow motion and is very slow. Before each game starts, you will have a few options to play with. You can be the grinder, you can go playmaker, you can become the shooter and choose sniper, you can be a power forward, a two-way forward, or even fights and become an enforcer. And now for the goalies. You can see here in NHL 16 there are some minor improvements done to the goalies. First off, the most noticeable, the glove hand is up. This allows for you to make better glove saves and also look more realistic in the net. You can see making short little precise movements is possible now. You just have to hold LT on the Xbox One and L2 on the PlayStation 4 controller. It does pose a pretty good challenge in net if you are not experienced like I am, but with a little practice, it should be a little bit more fun. Last but certainly not least is the AI improvement in NHL 16. Many people after the awful AI in NHL 15 are looking forward to hopefully a new and improved AI in NHL 16. And after playing a few games in NHL 16 EASHL beta, I have to say that the AI really isn't too impressive. It seems pretty similar to NHL 15. There were a couple of bright spots, don't get me wrong as they worked well together, but most of those passes that were supposed to be supposed to work now, they didn't really work. And you see here in this next clip, with 10 seconds left on the clock, our defenseman decides to take it behind the net, waste about 5 seconds of time before breaking the puck out. 
So after playing a few games of the new EASHL beta from NHL 16, I have come to the conclusion that my initial reaction to this game is that it is not too impressive. It seems pretty similar to NHL 15, but again, it is the beta and we still have a few months till the release. Keep in mind that I don't play EASHL too much, so I'm not very good at it. I strictly made this review based on EASHL because that was the only thing we could base it off of. Once we get the full game with more game modes, we can judge it more. But my initial review and grade for NHL 16 EASHL beta is a C. Nothing really seemed to improve or not improve. Minor overlay improvements led it to what it was. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Peace.